Thank you. I'm the bloke from the bush. Um, and the one thing you need to know if you're coming out into regional South Australia is how to say hello to people. G'day, mate. <laughs> G'day. G'day. I'm just going to try and get my presentation working. Awesome. Uh, so Ryan mentioned before the limestone coast, we're the little blue space right down um, in the bottom right hand corner of South Australia. Uh, when I was moving my family uh, over to Mount Gambier, one of the things that I really liked about the location of Mount Gambier is it's four and a half hours to Adelaide and it's four and a half hours to Melbourne. Uh, if you want to fly, it's one hour in either direction. Uh, so if you want to go and watch a Crows game, you yeah. can do that. <laughs> Uh, you can jump on a plane, head up, watch the game, be home in time for dinner. Uh, but if you're like me and a lot of people in Mount Gambia who follow uh, Victorian teams, you can get on a plane and head to Melbourne. Uh, Sonia, my wife, will come with me. I'll go to the footy. She'll go shopping. <laughs> it's always a fairly expensive weekend. Uh, but, but we do like that. Being in the middle, uh, we can head in, in either direction. Um, and that was one of the things that drew us to Mount Gambia. Uh, the limestone coast... Can we get that full screen, please? Uh, get the presentation? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so there's a video I'm going to show you in a moment, which when I couldn't email it up, uh, so I had to bring it with me. It took me four and a half hours to get here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fly. Um, but we will make this presentation available to everyone um, and I've got some, I've left some information out near the tea and coffee facilities later um, for you to take away with you as well that I'll refer to in a moment. Um, one of the other things that I really liked about coming and living in the Limestone Coast was the diverse nature of the region and the economy. Um, so the infographics up there speak to um, the Limestone Coast has 72% of South Australians logging output. Um, so forestry is a really big industry in our region. Um, we have a fantastic um, wine region in the Kunawara with some of the best uh, wineries and if you're into cold climate Shiraz, um, cold climate reds, it's a terrific um, place. And, uh, the fantastic thing about the Kunawara, uh, there are about 25 to 30 wineries with cellar doors all located on one strip of road um, which goes for about 20 kilometres. So having all of those wineries in one place together um, that you can uh, trip, trip along and visit uh, in an afternoon is fantastic. Uh, my wife and I haven't made it to all of them just yet. Um, we have a population of 66,000 uh, or thereabouts spread over uh, quite a large region. Um, so our employers, um, in terms of you know, looking for employees, they're crying out. Um, our region and most regions in Australia at the moment are crying out for skilled workers. Um, and you will get a warm um, welcome if you do decide to settle in regional Australia because we really need your skills um, and your expertise um, and the diversity that you can add. To Pretty good, hey? Wow. <laughs> uh, there are, uh, the number earlier was 22. Um, there are three seats in my car uh, for anyone who wants to come home with me. <laughs> uh, we'll find you a job, we'll get you sorted out. Um, it takes me three minutes to drive to work. It also means if I want to pop home at lunchtime um, during the cold months and warm up a bit of soup or something like that, I can do that. Um, when we first moved to Mount Gambia, um, we bought a house on the edge of town. Um, and we hadn't quite decided where my two daughters were going to school at that stage. Um, and they ended up going to school right over on the other side of Mount Gambia. <laughs> and my wife was, oh, it's going to be a long drive each morning. And I said, honey, eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere in Mount Gambia is a maximum of eight minutes. <laughs> um, but with a lot of terrific uh, things to see right across the region, um, as you just got a glimpse of in that video. Uh, but we can pull all that together, we can give you a really uh, flashy presentation 
But what's underneath that? Um, because you need jobs, you need housing, that sort of thing. So a couple of slides um, about that. Um, our forestry industry I mentioned um, makes up 72% um, of the state's forestry output. Um, a really large um, employer in our region with some companies that you know, um, play on the national um, and the international stage. There is huge demand for forestry product, um, particularly in China, uh, but throughout the world. Um, and the port of Portland, which is about 100 kilometres from Mount Gambia, um, is the largest forestry um, output in the, in the world. Uh, so terrific opportunities in forestry. Uh, fantastic opportunities in dairy. Uh, we've recently had a couple of uh, international companies build uh, powdered milk processing plants in the region, um, so they're crying out um, for engineers, food hygienists, um, people uh, working in the, uh, the factory for a whole range of, um, of different sorts of um, jobs there. Um, we have a, um, one of the plants recently saying we've got plans to invest about another $40 million into um, our operation uh, in the limestone coast, but we need to find more workers to do it, more engineers, more accountants to work in the uh, management side of the business. Um, if you'd like your wine, uh, I mentioned those uh, 25 or 30 uh, wineries, um, all concentrated in one place. There are terrific opportunities um, in the wine, in the winery industry in the region uh, as well, in, in a range of occupations. Um, my wife worked in uh, wineries for, for quite a long time, um, uh, working in the cellar door, so there's marketing opportunities, there's those sorts of things um, as well. Uh, health um, and um, uh, social assistance, um, we're currently rolling out the National Disability Insurance Scheme right across Australia um, and there are huge opportunities uh, for people looking for employment to establish businesses to provide assistance to people with a disability. Um, the estimates put it at around 600 new jobs um, in the Limestone Coast over the next couple of years. Um, so terrific opportunities. Uh, in our traditional industries, uh, but also in the service industries, hospitality and tourism as well. Uh, the, uh, the region also has a fantastic um, education facility. So on my uh, two days a week where I drive the kids to school, so it takes me about 16 minutes to drop them over in one corner, drive to the other corner where I work. Um, I ask my daughters on the drive to school that day, what are you grateful for? Um, and they said, Dad, the school that we go to. Um, so you always worry as a parent when you're moving to a new town, are they going to settle in? Are they going to find a good school? Are they going to make friends? Um, and you know, within a few months, um, they had done that because the school was quite attuned to making sure that they welcome new families, welcome new children in. They paired them up with it's a buddy system, so they had a friend. Um, or a group of friends who are going to look after them, help them settle in. Um, and we know as a region um, that we need to be even more uh, welcoming to our migrants so that they settle and they stay in our region. We don't want to panic again. Uh, we maintain a jobs board, um, which is a list of all the jobs that are available around the region on any uh, current workday. So it's updated every day. It's on our website rdalc.org.au um, that information will go out um, with the other presentations. Uh, there are about, so I think at last count, about 90 jobs um, in that list at the moment. These are real jobs um, waiting for applicants at the moment um, and many of which our employers have trouble filling. You're going to need somewhere to live after we've sorted you out um, with a job. And while, well, yes, I can take three of you home with me, um, and I do have a spare room, uh, eventually you need to uh, move out and find your own place. Uh, so look, just looking at that list, I think it, you know, it tells you what you need to know. If you're wanting to settle um, in Adelaide, I think the medium price of a house in Adelaide um, at, 
in July was about 470,000. Uh, the medium price of a house in the Limestone Coast or in Magdanby where I've settled is 255,000. But if you want to go, say, to somewhere like Bordertown, um, you can buy a good quality family three bedroom home for around $139,000. Uh, we said three, the number three before, the number two this time. Uh, the unemployment rate in Mount Gambia, uh, sorry, in uh, Bordertown is less than 2%. Uh, so they're crying out um, for people to come and work in their businesses, um, to deliver services um, and so on. Um, so some numbers I think that compare to um, what you've heard about from Adelaide today. And the story and the video you saw before is um, repeated in the other six regional areas right across South Australia. Uh, they've all got uh, terrific facilities, schools, healthcare, all of those sorts of things, and in all of our regions are just crying out uh, for skilled workers um, to, to come and help us grow our economies. Oh, there I am. Uh, that's <laughs> That's the end, uh, but it's not. I'll be out there having a cup of tea. I look forward to um, hearing from any of you. If you would like the current list of job vacancies, I've got those with me. If you'd like to sign up uh, for our email list and keep up to date with the jobs as they're happening, um, we've got a little form for you to fill out, out there. Um, we've also brought the magazine um, from the local paper that contains all the current real estate um, and housing for, um, for sale. Um, so come and grab those documents um, from me before you go if you're that interested. And if you're really, really interested, there are three, three uh, seats in my car and it takes me three minutes to get to work. Thank you.